Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita. Welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for the continued support of my channel. You guys, today's video is going to be all about being bad and bougie, but on a budget. Okay, listen, this video is going to be twofold. We want to find budget fragrances if you happen to be on a budget, but also, this is holiday shopping time, okay? Is it just me? Or is it that because everyone knows you're into fragrances, they want you to get them a fragrance for Christmas? <laughs> Listen, everybody can't have a fragrance to bois. <laughs> okay, MFK, a Tiziana Terenzi. So this is also gonna double as a gift guide, all right? We have some amazing fragrances and all of them are coming in at under $100, all right? Now, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. You guys, so the very first fragrance on this list is going to be the beautiful Tuberose Ginger Scent, and that is Twilly de Hermes by Hermes. Now listen, this scent is absolutely gorgeous, but they have to like a tuberose scent. You have to like a tuberose scent. This is ginger. Okay, citrus is in the opening and it's, let me tell you, it's a, it's a loud ginger and citrus, but just give it time because the dry down will reveal the most beautiful, smooth, light, fresh, airy tuberose vanilla sandalwood scent. It's just an effortlessly beautiful floral citrusy fragrance. So if you have someone that's into freshies, okay? If you yourself love a fresh citrusy floral scent, this is a must have in your collection. And that is Twilly de Hermes by Hermes. All right, now this next one is one that's often hyped up. Um, I don't hear too much about it on YouTube. I'm sure it is. I, maybe I just haven't come across a lot of videos. But on Instagram, it's definitely hyped up. And this is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. Listen, I didn't want to believe the hype either. But honey, when I got this on my nose, I blind bought it actually, okay? This scent is stunning. This is a 1.7 ounce that you're getting for around 80 bucks, available at Sephora, so it's, it's very accessible, but this sells out often. I think that was the issue with me giving, getting my nose on it at one point. This sells out often. It is beautiful. This is very vanillic, so it's very heavy on the vanilla. Also have a very prominent pear note. You have a little bit of rose that comes in a lot of resinous um, notes to it. So it is absolutely perfect for fall and winter months, okay? This one, you could get away with this in spring and summer, but this is definitely going to be a cold weather star just because you definitely get a lot of those resinous notes, okay? So it gives it this very sultry, warm, cozy feeling. This is a must smell, okay? Get your nose on it. It's usually a display at Sephora. Get your nose on it. And a lot of the others from this line are absolutely amazing. This has amazing longevity and projection, especially at this price point. So again, that is Vanilla Woods by The Seven Virtues. All right, you guys, I just happened to be standing in line at Zara getting some things for my daughter and I had no idea that Jo Malone had launched yet another <laughs> perfume series with Zara. So I just randomly walked by the display and I put my nose really briefly on Magnificently Dubai. And I said, okay, well, we just gonna have to uh, pick this up right now <laughs> since we're here. And now this is a beautiful oriental scent, okay, for, I think this was right around 20 bucks. And this size, it may have actually been under, I'm not certain, but it's Zara. All of their fragrances are like in that $20 range and under. So this is absolutely rich auntie, okay? for not a lot of coins. The only thing about it is this top is hard to get off, 
but the packaging they actually put some thought into it which is not normal for Zara um, as far as the actual box it came with this beautiful sturdy box um, you know it's got Joe Malone's signature there and then it also came with a little postcard um, like a travel postcard from um, from Joe Malone and it reads this collection takes its inspiration from our return to the pioneering spirit of travel and the discovery of the vibrancy of life again. Joe Malone. Okay, so listen, this is beautiful, okay? <laughs> A lot of these from the new line are said to be dupes for other fragrances, but to my understanding, this one is just, it's, no, it's not a dupe for anything. This is just a standalone original creation. And I absolutely love the fact that we are getting, okay, good fragrances with EDP concentration. Unlike her line, her line that, you know, that she's known for, which is her cologne line, a cologne, okay, for 150 up to $300. And everybody agrees that, you know, it's gonna last one or two hours. These actually give you four, five, six hours of wear for a fraction of the price. So if you are looking for something that is very oriental. This has like, ooh, this has saffron. This is, you know, this is not anything you're gonna be finding for a $20 price point with a designer scent. That's not gonna happen. And I highly doubt if a celebrity comes out with ingredients such as those. Okay, so this fragrance is spicy. It features leather. It has saffron. Okay, show me a celebrity fragrance at $20 that's gonna give you ingredients like that. Good luck, okay? This is your opportunity to get your, get something with these type of notes into your collection for a fraction of the cost. So definitely go check it out. Check out the whole series. To my understanding, they have one in the series, I think something London, and it is a very close dupe from what I understand to Delina Exclusive. So that line is worth checking out. The previous lines, that she's launched with Zara are ch worth checking out, trust me. All of the Zara fragrances are not created equal, but they definitely have some bangers within their, their line of perfumes. I mean, it's just no denying that. So this again is Magnificently Dubai uh, from the newest Jo Malone launch. Okay, this next one is also from Zara and this is Rose Gourmand. You guys, I have a dedicated review to this baby along with one of the others we'll talk about a little later in this video. This is a spot on dupe, okay, for Mancera's Roses Vanille. But this baby here is $25, okay? Cafe, Intense Cafe, Roses Vanille, very similar notes, um, scent profiles, <laughs> but this is a spot on dupe for it, so if you love that scent and you want other people to experience that, but you don't have $170 a bottle to gift that to someone, this is it. If you just don't feel comfortable spending, you know, 170 bucks on a fragrance, this is it. Head to Zara and pick this up. Go online and purchase it because they sell out frequently, okay? Now, the next one that we want to uh, bring up from the same line is going to be Red Temptation, okay? Again, dedicated review on these two. This is a very, very spot on dupe for Baccarat Rouge. Again, if you want to experience that scent, or test it out, and you don't have the money saved right now for a scent like Baccarat Rouge 540, this is the one to purchase, okay? $25, 80 mil, okay? You get to experience something that's gonna get you 95% there while you're saving your coins to get the real thing. You can still have something quite close, okay? You can, this will make an excellent gift for someone that just needs a new fragrance, okay? That is getting into fragrances, that needs to get into fragrances, but they're not, get them this, okay? It's not gonna break the bank and it is a beautiful scent with projection, with longevity. This is a high quality fragrance at $25, okay? All right, now you guys, the next one, 
I bought off of the recommendation of Miss Opinionated Sense, Miss Terry Michelle. And when I tell you she never lied, the lady never lied. Listen, Toka is these I passed by so many times in Sephora, I never even thought to smell them. When I tell you this is an underrated house, I bought the travel size of this just to test it out. It was a blind buy. When I tell you my behind was up at Sephora early the next morning, 7 a.m. Black Friday to get the full bottle. That is how stunning this scent is. This is the most beautiful blood orange floral that you will ever come across. This scent is absolutely stunning. This is going to make a wonderful gift for anyone that loves a feminine scent. It's feminine, it's citrus, but there is just something so different about this. There is something so sensual about this. This has freesia, okay? This has a lily, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the blood orange. So it's just not your typical orange, bright citrusy. That's not what this is. This is something else. And when I tell you it's addictive, this is so beautiful. And I just urge you to get your nose on everything from this house. Just go down and smell the whole line while you at Sephora. You're already there getting this one. Go ahead and smell them all. Honey, Florence is next on the list. Beautiful floral fragrance. It's hard for me to get excited about just a floral fragrance, okay? I'm not a heavy florals girl, but these perfumes are beautiful, stunning. This full bottle is, I think, 75 bucks, but they also have, I think it was like a 30 mil, um, and they also have just like a regular, I think, 10, 15 mil as well. So they have three different sizes of this. So whatever your budget is, you can still come out on top with a phenomenal fragrance. And this is Stella by Tolka and highly recommend you picking this one up. Okay, we cannot be fully bougie unless we have a beautiful K. Ali fragrance on display, okay? Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper is going to give you all of the opulence, okay? All of the beauty of an oriental floral fragrance right at that $100 price point. These fragrances are everything okay i've raved about um vanilla 28 numerous <laughs> numerous times on this channel i'm sure everyone's tired of hearing about it but i just look listen the quality that she's coming with at this price point is just it's unmatched they are stunning fragrances okay they just smell so beautiful the quality is there the the ingredients you know they they source really great ingredients for their scents and they are just worth it these make stunning gifts look at this is a mini but i mean the the larger bottles are designed in the exact same way just bigger okay these look so beautiful on a display and sweet diamond pink pepper opens up with this beautiful pink pepper note and you have saffron you've got lily and you've got a bergamot so it starts out somewhat peppery, citrusy, but then you automatically start getting the beautiful, beautiful roses. So you have a Bulgarian rose, you have May rose, you have a vanilla orchid, and you have magnolia. I absolutely love when you pair magnolia with rose. I don't know, it's just automatic opulence, okay, to me. I just love that scent combination. Then in the base, you have very grounding notes of sandalwood. Okay, amber, you've got musk and you've got patchouli. And Kaoli, they do musk in a very, uh, there's just very something very specific about the DNA of, you know, their musk. I don't know what it is, but I can just always pick it out in their fragrances. And I just find it quite gorgeous. So again, that is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 by Kayali. All right, you guys. And so the next one on the list is going to be right at about 20 bucks. This is a celebrity fragrance. Um, I think this is the, this one and the Fenty are the only celebrity fragrances in my collection, but this is just 
such a beautiful fruity scent at an amazing price point. This is fruity, it's woody, it's very sweet. You have to like a powdery fragrance to appreciate this, but it is gorgeous. Um, this to me is just a wonderful, like chill at home, go to bed type of scent. I love going to bed with just the sweetness um, around me. I don't know why at a wonderful price point, you're going to feel quite pretty, quite bougie when you throw this one on. And just to give you some of the notes, this opens up with a juicy blackberry. You've got plum and currant, okay? Currant buds. So the mid is going to give you orchid, rose, and violet. So that violet, again, is giving a lot of powderiness. And the base is just woody notes, vanilla, and a sandalwood. So it is beautifully blended, well-rounded, but it is a very, it's a very sweet, fruity a woody scent and again that is Sophia by Sophia Figara. all right now the next one on this list is from the house of Guerlain and y'all know how I feel about that house honey quality is their middle name okay this is La Petite Robe Noir au Fresh and again by the house of Guerlain this fragrance is just so unique to me because this is an almondy scent but it is fresh Tell me where you see that, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, seriously, this opens up very citrusy. So you've got lemon and bergamot, mandarin orange and orange blossom in the opening. But as it develops, you really start to get these very light cherry and almondy notes. This is a fresh almond scent. And these are very affordable. I think these run maybe like 40, 50 bucks. Um, this is the EDT concentration, but some of them from this line are EDPs and they're all like right at that 50 and under mark. So very high quality, very high quality fragrances from a very, you know, world renowned perfumer. And that, that is Guerlain, like, Hello, a cheapie from such an amazing house. Don't sleep on it. Okay, so the middle notes, back to the notes. So the middle notes are orange blossom. You have sour cherry, freesia, Turkish rolls, Bulgarian rolls. You have jasmine sandbag, raspberry, strawberry, and peach. Then in the base, you have more nuts, okay? So you have pistachio, almonds, patchouli, tonka bean, musk, and vanilla, okay? This scent, Sorry, this scent is gorgeous. <laughs> okay, if you want to smell sweet but fresh and you love almond, this is it. This is the one you need to get. Just go buy it, honey. Don't even worry about getting your nose on it because guess what? $30, $40, what's the, just get the scent, okay? And thank me later. They have quite a range um, in this particular uh, La Petite Robe Noir line. So go to Fragrantica. Check them all out and just look at the notes and see which one you think would best fit you. And this one, I absolutely love because like I said, it's just a unique freshie. I don't, I mean, hello, just beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Okay, now this next one is a no stranger to the channel and it is the one that every woman needs in their collection and that is Mon Berlin. Listen, I will never, Stop talking about Mongolian on my channel because it is just beautiful. Lavender is rarely done correctly for women and they knocked it out of the park with this fragrance. If you are shopping, oh shit. If you are shopping for a woman and you want to get her a fragrance and you have no idea where to start, okay? Or if you're new to fragrances and you're trying to be bad and bougie, honey, but you ain't got a lot of coins, Mongerlan is your first stop. Mongerlan is a very heavy lavender scent. So in general, if you know that you like lavender, you will probably like this. I would even say this would be a safe blind buy for you. This is very vanilla heavy. Um, this has some other florals, but the star of the show is going to be the lavender and the vanilla and the way 
that they blended it is just absolutely stunning, okay? This size right here, 50 mil, I think you can pick this up for 50 bucks, I'm not sure. I know like you can get these off Amazon now, like big sizes for, I mean, you can get it from Sephora, but a lot of people get it off Amazon for a lot cheaper. So it's gonna be a range of prices that you can find this for, but it's always gonna be under that $100 mark, um, especially for a size like this. I think on Amazon, you can even get the big 3.4 for about 84 bucks. So definitely this is bad and bougie on a budget starter kit perfume right here, okay? Get it, get your nose on it. It's a stunner, period. Compliment getter. Absolutely gorgeous scent. Okay, now the next one is going to be Signature by Mont Blanc, and this is just your beautiful citrusy floral scent. Now, this is a very different from Stella because there's nothing like Stella, honey. Let me tell you that right now, but this is going to be, the citrus is just have a lot more kick to it, okay? I feel like the star of this, especially in the open, is going to be the Clementine note. So you've got Clementine, and you've got peony, um, just this beautiful arrangement of florals, but I feel like it's equally citrusy as it is floral. So the way that, you know, they've crafted this fragrance is just absolutely beautiful. And I feel like full retail, these are right at $100. So you can always find them cheaper than that. I feel like for this price point, this is just a beautiful, easy go-to very crowd pleasing um, fragrance. You, I highly doubt if anyone would just dislike this, okay? They may not love it, but they will at minimum like it. So if we're talking about buying a gift for someone and you're nervous about, you know, what to get, this is probably gonna be a safe bet, okay? This is a safe blind buy, just citrusy, it's floral, okay? They didn't complicate it. <laughs> that sounds like something that you may like, I would say this is definitely gonna be a safe blind buy. Again, that is Signature by Mont Blanc. All right, you guys, so that is the video for today. Drop me a comment below and let me know your best budget-friendly perfumes. I am dying to know because I want to add some more to my collection, okay? I love smelling great, not smelling cheap, but saving the coins, all right? Now, if you are unsubscribed, definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you found any value in the content, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel to grow. Everything, as usual, will be linked below, and I will catch you lovely people on the next one.